This lesson is part of our color series and in this video we're going to learn how to make our colors lighter and how to make our colors darker. So our materials for this activity are a pencil, a canvas or a whiteboard, paint brushes, acrylic paints, we're going to need yellow, red, blue, we're also going to need white and black, a cup to wash our brushes, paper towel, a plastic palette knife, or a spoon. Tint and shade. First, tint. A tint is a mixture of color with white, which makes the color lighter. The more white you add to the color, the lighter the color will get. So for example, we have blue here. When we add a layer of white on top, it gets lighter. And then the more white we add to it, the lighter that color gets. While a shade is a mixture of color with black, which makes that color darker. The more black you add to that color, the darker that color will be. Again, if we have blue, add black to it, you'll see it gets darker. The more black we add to it, the darker that color gets. So now we're going to do it with paint. Okay, so for tint, we'll mix blue, then add white to it. Alright, your lighter blue there. And then we'll add more white. Okay, and then more white. One more. Alright. And then for the shade, we're gonna add black. Make sure you mix it well. Alright. The next one we'll add more black. Right there. Keep adding more black to it. Yeah, so do you see how the blue gets lighter and lighter the more white you add to it? And same with the, the blue here, uh, when we're trying to create shade, we add more black, more black, until it becomes really dark, almost black. So the art piece that we're going to be doing today is actually inspired by a painting of our very own Rita. She did this sunset art piece a while ago and we're going to recreate it because it shows um, the colors from dark to light and it's perfect for, for this lesson. Um, so it's going to look like this. As you can see there, you can see the base color orange and how it goes from, from dark to light or light to dark. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get started. Um, I got my three brushes. I got um, a wide one, which is about the same uh, width, same width as my thumb. I got a medium one, um, and then a thin one for when we do details. Okay. I got my cup with water to wash our brushes, uh, paper towel to dry our brush, and a palette knife or a plastic spoon to mix our paint, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is create our paint. So we got our base color for this art piece. It's going to be orange. I've already mixed uh, my yellow with the red. So this one is um, five parts yellow to one part red to get my orange. Um, and we're going to make two tints of orange. I'm going to get my, my palette knife or if you have a spoon, I'm going to get one part white, put it here in the middle and then mix orange with it to make my first, uh, tint of orange. There we go. You can see it's lighter already. 
that's a little too light so I'm gonna get more orange okay so it's two parts orange to one part white And just to keep the color warm, I'm going to add one part yellow to our ratio here of two parts orange to one part white. So I'm going to get yellow and just add it here and mix it. And once we've done that, we're going to make another tint. Um, so I get white put it here so that's one part white to two parts of this orange tint that we have one two and then mix it and same with this one I'm gonna add yellow to this second tint of orange that we have just to keep it uh, warm looking and we're just gonna label our our colors here just for reference we'll, we'll call this A this one B and this one C so it'll be uh, easier for us to remember when we're painting our piece okay so first we're gonna draw our guideline line going down this way and then left to right just to help us position the things we need to paint on our art piece we're gonna get our our medium sized brush and we're gonna get yellow okay and we're just gonna position it over here where the horizontal line is where the left to right line is okay so we're just gonna put it here like that it doesn't have to be a perfect circle all right once we've done that let's wash our brush dab it on our paper towel so it's dried and we're gonna get our widest brush and we're going to get our base color orange okay so we're gonna paint this part over here above the red line and we're just gonna paint it up to this point okay so we're gonna cover that area of the painting so let's try to avoid painting over the our yellow circle there okay so we'll just do a stroke like that it's a little tricky here on this part but just be careful when you're getting too close to the yellow circle okay if you go over it a little bit it's okay we can paint it again later with uh, another layer of yellow okay so we'll do that wash our brush okay dab it on paper towel and then we're gonna get our middle color orange here our lighter orange or B and then we're gonna paint this section okay it's okay if you're touching this part of the orange our base color um, it can blend a little bit with it it'll actually look nice like that okay once we've done that let's wash our brush this time we're gonna get the lightest orange or C okay we're gonna paint the top part I'm just gonna wash the brush and then I'm just gonna go back and get our base color orange or A and just go over this a little bit and blend it with the lighter orange there okay let's wash our brush I'm gonna go back to medium brush I'm gonna get yellow and I'm just gonna repaint our circle here or sun okay once we've done that we're gonna go back to our widest brush and get the light orange or B and we're gonna do um, 
paint the area underneath our red line here, okay? Up to this point, okay? This time you can go over the, the yellow circle here on the bottom half of the yellow circle because we don't need it in our painting here. I'm gonna go back to our medium brush and are gonna get um, our base color orange. Okay, and I'm just gonna make lines like this, okay? Um, to make it look like a ripple in the water. Um, and then do another line, make sure there's space between the line that you did to the other line that you're doing. And that should be good, okay? Once we've done that, wash our medium brush. And we're gonna get yellow. And we're just gonna paint this area here where the sun is. We'll just do a line like that to have the sun's reflection in the water, okay? It's very subtle, but I mean, overall it'll, it does make a difference, okay? Wash our brush. Then I'm gonna get our white brush and I'm gonna get black. And we're gonna do the bottom part over here, okay? I'm just gonna paint all of that, just like that. So this is the short part of our painting. Kind of like, like, like bumps like that. Doesn't have to be a straight line. If you find you, the brush is too dry, you can dab it in water. And then we're gonna stick with the same brush, dab it in water a little bit, get more black paint. And we're just gonna do uh, a stroke that goes that way. And we're just gonna do a thing just like that, okay? All right. Don't worry about it not being perfect like that. You could go over it again, okay? So just like that. Okay, now wash our brush. We'll use our medium brush. We're gonna get black. And we're gonna do a line that goes this way, okay? Another one that way. Another one this way. And then that way. Get more black paint that way, and then one more like that, okay? Now we're gonna use our thinnest brush, dab it in water, and get black, and we're just gonna do lines on each branch here, okay? So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, okay? Just that motion. We'll get more paint, dab it in water. We'll start, we'll always start at the top part of it. So your, your paint, when it thins out, it thins out on the right spot in the bottom here where, where the leaves would be um, thinner anyways or they would fade. Um, now we'll do this one. Make sure your brush um, has a little bit of water in your bristles. So it has this kind of fading effect on your brush strokes. Because when, when your brush is too dry, the paint is gonna um, be clumped and it's gonna be too thick. Okay, we'll do this one. Okay, more paint. Then once 
once we've done that, we'll go back to our medium brush and we'll get black, okay? And we're just gonna do a short stroke over here in this section, just like this, just like that, okay? Once we've done that, wash our brush. We'll go back to our thin brush. We're just gonna draw two lines like this. One, two, okay? And then we're gonna draw, uh, we're gonna paint a circle on top. And then we're gonna draw a line like that. And then a square on top of it, just like that, okay? Once we've done that, we'll wash our brush a little bit, but we're gonna stick with black. We're just gonna do a line from here to over there. Just like that, okay? Actually, we'll extend it a little bit, okay? Once we've done that, wash our brush again, but don't get black this time. Just wash your brush. And then from this point, you're just gonna make, yeah, you didn't need to get any more black paint because there's gonna be residue of black on your bristles anyways. And I think that should be enough to make your line over here. Wash the thin brush, make sure it's completely clean. We're gonna get the base orange here. Just gonna draw a line that goes like this. One, two, Okay, we'll get a few more. It's kind of like um, the person's shadow there. And that's it. That's our sunset painting inspired by Rita's original painting. Right now we're gonna do our quiz. What do you mix with green to make it lighter? A, black, B, white, or C, pink? The answer is B, white. What do you mix with red to make it darker? A, black, B, white, C, pink. The answer is A, black. Which of these has the darkest color? A, B or C? The answer is A. Which of these has the lightest color? A B or C? The answer is C. I hope you did well on the quiz and we hope you enjoyed creating your sunset art piece. We'd like to see it at our next meeting. The date and the time is on the description below. And we hope to see you then.